You know what, Obero? I've had enough of you. If you give me a god talisman right now, or so help me. Oh! Oh my god! That's amazing! Oh! Hello, my fellow hunters of Title Update 3. How you doing? Hopefully the answer is excellent. I will not accept anything less. But what I do want to do is really go over stress and make sure you are so fully completely aware of the brand new melding that we have been given. Aurora melding. This is, well, the answer to all of our talisman prayers. Or I suppose the answer to all of our talisman nightmares. Basically, we now have the ability to all but guarantee a god talisman in any given skill you are after. Yeah. You unlock Aurora Milding after defeating Chaotic Gormagala. Obero will want to have a chat with you, and then you are off to the races. And if you're anything like me, who basically has just kind of given up on melding for the last ages, and is sat there with like over a hundred accelerants, and billions of monster parts and puddings, well, you're gonna have a lot of fun, because melding suddenly just became unbelievably compelling again. So, you can now literally guarantee that every single talisman that you randomly roll will at least have one of the following skills, and they are basically all of the big boy skills, everything you could ever want on your talisman. <laughs> The prophecy is true. So, for example, you're after handicraft, you're after some attack perhaps, do half and half with both, and have a look what you get. You want some crit boost? Well, do a wall of crit boost, and god look how many red 10 crit boosts that is. Yeah, it's really, really exciting, and basically means that you can reliably have pretty much the best talisman possible for any given build, and it kind of concerns me that they're doing this, because surely that implies that we're going to need it. In any case, a few words of warning before you dive in, and, well, maybe perhaps more advice than warning, I would definitely select a skill that can roll more than one point in the first talisman slot. This still obeys the rules of what can and can't drop of a talisman. We have a video on the specifics if you want to know it, but for example, I would, by and large, focus on attack or critical eye, depending on which one your weapon and builds favor, because they consistently can get two ranks of the skill in the first slot of the talisman, and therefore anything extra you get is likely to be that much better. Whereas crit boost, you're just going to get one crit boost in the top instead of two, and given we can target any skill now, all we're after is plus as many skill points that we care about as possible, so choosing any Anything that only comes in ones, like crit boost, is kind of a waste of your time here. Unless you desperately just need one crit boost no matter what on your talisman. So, yeah, I would focus on attack or critical eye as just overarching great ones to have a great talisman version of that unlocks most builds in the games you could want to play. But, of course, you know best what skill you're after, but definitely keep that in mind. In any case, that's about all it is. Nothing crazy going on, just a real head up PSA, hey, you Aurora Melding, use this tool, it's fantastic, and enjoy, and I wish you good luck. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.